Today I'm reviewing the FBI Crime Essentials for Writers workshop that I attended in 2014 at Thriller Fest in New York. Now I know that's quite a long time and yes I could have made this video, I don't know, six years ago, but it is one of those things that I had sitting in my shelf because I wanted to incorporate realistic FBI agents into one of my future stories. And of course, time just went on and I didn't write it and I didn't do it, but I kept holding on to it because I kept thinking I'm going to make sure that I do that. So today I thought we could do two things. One, I would just give you a sort of overview of what that day consisted of and also tell you where you could go to find out more information if you are trying trying to put an FBI agent or anything like that into your own book or screenplay or anything else. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa and welcome to my Cozy Mystery Author Tube channel where we talk about all things related to cozy mysteries and the author writing life. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and I do extra videos like today, so make sure to hit the bell so you get notifications when new videos like this go live. So today I thought we could cover two things. I'll give you an overview of everything that happened at that course because I do believe that Thriller Fest does try to offer that as a workshop quite frequently frequently, if not every year. I actually have not kept track. And also, um, if you are not able to make it there, how can you get some information or do research in the meantime, other than, of course, Wikipedia? So the first thing is, it was really, it was an amazing experience. It was totally worth it. Uh, it was really great. I have absolutely nothing negative to say about it. And it was not expensive. It was only $75. So I had registered for Thriller Fest as a writer and I'd registered for Craft Fest and Master Fe Mastercraft and all of those things because I just love all parts of that conference. In fact, it's listed when I talk about my top five writing conferences to go to. Thriller Fest is one of them. And it had, um, anyways, it was very structured and it was an email that had been sent after the fact. So I know if you go to the Thriller Fest website right now, it doesn't have it listed. I don't know if it's not, it's because she hasn't confirmed it yet. Um, but once you register for the conference or you could even email her and ask her about it, they usually, if they can, they will try to offer, I want to say a one day workshop with either, it could be the FBI, it could be the police or some other sort of task force because obviously Thriller Fest has a lot of police procedurals or FBI procedurals and people writing that type of stuff. Um, but at the uh, event, basically you just go there, you're in one room. I believe it was held on site at the FBI. I don't think it was at the hotel because I think they were trying to uh, I think you had to go through obviously different security checks and other things and I don't think we were able to bring cell phones. I could be wrong, but I don't think we were able to because um, you weren't able to record or take pictures. Um, but again, you know, the rules could have changed. Or I could be remembering them incorrectly because it's been so long. But I do want to say it's a great opportunity to go. And here's what they covered. They had a whole list of where they went through all the different uh, like divisions within the FBI that they had. They gave you a list of all these acronyms uh, because you see acronyms a lot in different books. Uh, they also went over a lot of myths that people have portrayed incorrectly, whether it's TV or books or movies and, uh, you know, something like FBI agents don't just come in and um, without any approval and they don't break the law, right? So, uh, so sort of things that were kind of obvious, but just had to be mentioned because they you see them in movies and then you're like, well, maybe that's true. And honestly, I think now more days, not more days, more often than not today, people are getting more accurate uh, predictions. They might, someone might be laughing at me, but I think they do have more accurate depictions of FBI agents today than we ever did in the past because there's just so much more information available to do research on. Um, so what else do we do? They actually provided lunch too as, as well. So it was like the least expensive writing workshop that I've ever been to. You were able to ask them any questions that you wanted. Um, which was very useful because a lot of people that were that had works in progress were like, well, I have my character doing this. Would he realistically do that? Can he work a 48 hour shift without any breaks? Right. So, you know, little 
things that probably you can't find online, but they help add some authenticity to your book. Now, if you can, obviously my first suggestion is to attend this workshop at Thriller Fest if they're going to have it again. Uh, my second suggestion, if you need to do some research, is they mentioned that they have, if you go to the FBI website, they have a tab called Community Outreach, and they have a class called the Citizens Academy uh, class, I believe, well, that's what it was called back then. And it's uh, 40 weeks and it's one day per week. And then they will just kind of give you different information on different techniques that they use. Um, I'm not really sure what's involved in the training, but it sounds like by the end of that 40 weeks, you will know like pretty much the ins and outs of everything that you would want to know to put into your book. Um, the third way is if you are not able to attend that class and you'll have to actually just call your local FBI office if there is one near you. Um, I believe there are 56 offices according to Wikipedia uh, and they all vary in size. So obviously, a, you know, a larger office is probably going to have classes. I lived in New York City at the time and I remember I looked into it and they definitely did have classes in New York. Uh, but, you know, it depends on where you live. I haven't checked since I moved here. And the other thing that you could do, which is just write to them. So they have inside their community outreach, you can send them information or you can actually just send them your script uh, and let them know like, is this the main character? Like how important is it to get this accurately depicted in your book or your screenplay? Um, has it been sold or is it just something you're that's out on spec that or something you're going to self publish? And then they will usually respond back. I shouldn't say usually. I, they're saying that they respond back. I have no idea um, with whether or not they are able to help you out with that particular request. But they did sound super eager to like help you out and super friendly, at least the New York office and the people that I was able to speak to that day or that spoke in that particular workshop. Now, the other thing you could do is you could check your alumni network as well. So one of the women that I went to college with actually works for the FBI now. We're not that close. I wouldn't say like she's a friend or a best or anything, but I know her and I went to a small uh, all women's liberal arts school. So, you know, you could check your alumni database as well to reach out if you have questions or you never know, maybe somebody is married to somebody who works in the FBI and would be willing to answer some questions for you or read over your manuscript and do some fact checking. So those are my top five suggestions. So just to review really quick, one, I would definitely go to the course or the workshop if it's offered again, you can check with Kimberly Howe who runs Thriller Fest. Two, I would try to look into the FBI Citizens Academy course through your local FBI office. Third, I would go to the website and just email them and ask if you can uh, ask somebody questions or send them your manuscript for fact checking. And the other one is that I would check with your alumni. I did the math wrong. I think that's four, it's not five. But those are four different places that you could check um, to try to get some research and more accurate information to help with your book. All right, I hope you found that useful. I really meant to do this, as I said, like six years ago, uh, when it possibly would have been more relevant. But uh, let me know if you guys have any questions and I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day and I will see you guys next week. Bye.